Hey, so welcome. We're going to talk DPI and a little bit more than that. It's all about connecting the dots. That's all we're doing is playing a game of connect the dots. Your organization exists for a reason. We call that its purpose. It's why it's reason to exist. A lot of the time, the reason that an organization exists is because of, if you notice here, kind of faint in the bottom there, the values, right? So a lot of times the purpose for the organization stem from the values that are underlying. Other times organize, organizations say like, these are the values we need to embody in order to achieve what we're trying to achieve. But a lot of the times it does come from the values that um, are, are already there. Or sometimes if an organization does not have stated values, they they get everyone together and, and they decide what are our shared values. And these are our shared values, right? So the values are things we believe so strongly. It's, it's like having a tattoo on our heart. So as an organization, if we value contribution, then that's something that we should see in action and the way people act, right? So values in action are really important. You also see I chose this design off to the side because more and more businesses are delivering to a triple bottom line, people, planet, and profit. Okay, so think about it. Does your organization have a stated purpose? Does it have stated values? Are you delivering to a triple bottom line? And then we take that purpose and we put it into a short and sweet, but complete, catchy, in the now statement. And we call that the mission, right? And in the now statement of purpose. Okay, so we have a purpose. the why, the reason we exist, probably also we see the values, maybe the values are what spurred that purpose to get stated in the first place. And then the mission is an in the now statement of purpose. Then we have this North Star, where are we going? And you might call it something else, but this is the future focused where we're headed, the aspiration on the horizon, the North Star, the beacon, however you want to put it, we call that the vision. So visions are always future focused. And here I'm talking about the organization's vision. You could have a project vision. You could have a product vision. You could have a vision for your life. You could have a vision for the first hours of your morning, right? But it's always off in the future. So we show up, we have a in the now statement of purpose, our mission, and or again, this is our this is connecting us to our future, right? A lot of times what we see is, well, that's so far off in the future. Here's the first goal we have to make. Here's the second goal. And then maybe you don't even know what those goals are way out. And then you could chunk those goals down into objectives, right? So now you have stepping stones to say, okay, here, if we hit these three objectives, bing, 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 we're going to hit that big goal. And then what are the objectives that we need to set to get that next goal? And then what should that other goal even be, right? So sometimes it's really clear and more and more it's not. More and more it's, it's honestly not for a lot of reasons, both the type of work people are undertaking and also because out there in the external environment, we see a lot of what we say is VUCA, volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity, right? And so what we think is a goal today may not be true. So we have to have a, an ability to pivot and adapt. What will also help us get to this vision in the future 
Sure. If we're showing up with our values in action, that's wonderful. Please keep doing that. But setting, um, setting up guiding principles as an organization is also going to be super helpful. It helps to actually set your culture if you're new, um, but it also helps to change your culture if, if you already have an existing culture. So guiding principles are recommendations that we could use in all contexts and they're for everyone. So if, if this was someone presenting at the board of directors meeting, we're all guided by these guiding principles. Notice how they're like magnets. And the summary here is that we have the organization's purpose, why it exists. We have the organization's values, usually what they truly stand for and is tattooed on their hearts. But sometimes there are aspirational values that organizations choose. The mission is an in the now statement of purpose. The vision is where we're going. Guiding principles help guide our thinking, guide our action, guide our hearts and minds everything we do. And so we see that continuity. So the governing body, let's say it's that board of directors again, is, is going to set the direction for the organization. We have the organization's vision, but that's so far off. We're going to set goal, goal, goal along the way. And those goals would relate more and more these days to a triple bottom line. 